year ago and I still haven't read it which is brilliant so this cover is so nice hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I thought I'd continue with the sort of colour scheme sort of book haul so today I'll be doing a pink cover book haul I've got five books to show you and hopefully some of them will be sort of new and not on your radar and hopefully you'll discover some new books today so the first book I'm going to be showing you is Girlhood by Kat Clark now I got this in the Zoella book club was it 2017 maybe I think but I absolutely loved it I've since bought almost all I think all apart from two of Kat Clark's books and I just get on with them like a house on fire they're so good they're so easy to read I just love the story I can't put them down and I just love all of the stories in them I don't know about you but I really love this cover as well and all of these matchsticks are like raised so you can really feel the cover and I think that's really cool but on the front here it says sugar and spice and scars for life obviously different from sugar and spice and everything nice and the blurb for Cat Clark's girlhood is I lost myself when my sister died and these girls rebuilt me piece by piece I thought that nothing could ever come between us I thought I knew who I was until the new girl showed up now honestly I love this book it was I'm sure it's based in a school and they find out some sort of secrets and it wasn't it wasn't even that it was relatable it was just such a good book I just it was a real page turn you just had to find out what what was happening why all this was going on and things like that but I really loved it and if anyone else has read it make sure you let me know in the comments I also wanted to point out that I'm trying to be sort of colour coordinated I don't own that much pink but I thought a uh, light tone lilac-y purple would do the next book I haven't heard many people talk about so I don't know if I'm sort of it's not even that the book's new because I've had it a while but I haven't seen many people reviewing it or anything and that is Faceless by Alyssa Shinemel or Sheenmel I don't know how you're meant to pronounce that and I probably butchered the pronunciation of it but we go on it's about a girl called Maisie and she gets burnt in a terrible accident and that is why it's faceless because her face gets burnt and then it sort of deals with the repercussions of that I think that's the right word so the blurb for faceless is when Maisie's burnt in a terrible accident her face is partially destroyed She's lucky enough to get a face transplant, but how do you live your life when you can't even recognise yourself anymore? As Maisie discovers how much her, sh her looks shaped her relationship to the world, she has to redefine her own identity and figure out what lucky really means. Now, this isn't my normal type of book. I don't know if you know or if you've watched my other videos, but I love romance books, YA contemporary romance. That is my favourite. And this is definitely not that. I mean, it has some aspects of that, but it mainly deals with her and her own development, her personal development, the character development of her as well, and how the world shapes us, that sort of thing. So not that it's really deep of a book, but it, it does think about those things. And it, you have to think about this book a lot more. Not that it's difficult to read. It's quite an easy read and I really enjoyed it but it isn't my normal book and I hope some of you try it and if you have read it let me know in the comments. So the next book I'm going to show you was in my first ever YA book haul and I filmed that like over a year ago and I still haven't read it which is brilliant but that is Sarah Barnard or Bernard I still don't know how to pronounce it even a year on A Quiet Kind of Thunder and I'm sorry in this lighting isn't that cover like absolutely gorgeous i didn't even realize it was hearts but that is so nice right so it says sometimes a whisper is as good as a shout so since i haven't read it i'm just going to read you the blurb because i've tried to remember what it's about and i can partially remember what the blurb said but i think it's better if i just read it to you so the blurb says steffi doesn't talk reese can't hear they understand each other perfectly love isn't always a lightning strike sometimes it's the rumbling roll of thunder now obviously that's where a quite kind of thunder comes in i haven't started this book because although i've got on with her other books this one doesn't grip me as much as some of the other ones have and i just seem to keep buying more books which is an ever-growing problem and my to be list just is ever-growing as well and they just seem to like 
grip me more, like I'm pulled towards them more than this one. But I think I might try and read this next month and then I can give you a proper review. So this next book I also haven't read, but it was gifted to me by Brooke, who also is at Swans University. So thank you so much, Brooke. And that is Dead Popular by Sue Wallman. Now, as soon as I saw this, I thought this really looks like a uh, Karen McManus or A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by um, Holly Jackson. Any sort of one of those crime, sort of a little bit of thriller mystery books. And YA Mystery is right up my street. So I thought this looked amazing. And it says, school can be so savage. And it's true. The blurb says, you don't become the most powerful girl at school by playing nice. And Kate Jordan Berriera is ruthless. But when long held secrets start coming to light, she realizes someone is playing a much more dangerous game. If Kate keeps lying about her past, her final year at Pankhurst could be exactly that, her final year. Now, that sounds good. It sounds like there could be a death, maybe she dies, maybe she doesn't die. But it sounds, it sounds very much like a mystery to me. And I cannot wait to read this. So the final book in my pink book haul is the one and only Moxie. Now, this is by Jennifer Matthew, not how you'd think to spell Matthew, but Jennifer Matthew, and I absolutely loved it. Initially, I was a bit, is the word pessimistic about it? I was thinking, oh, I'm not really sure. It doesn't, initially from the cover, it doesn't look like my kind of book. It does look quite young, but it was so good. Like, I really enjoyed this book. It's all about, is it, would I call it feminism? It's basically about girls fighting back for things. It's not, it's not sort of, it's just girls fighting back against problems, etc. So the front here says, time to fight like a girl. Sweet, funny and fierce, read this and then join the fight. It's honestly, I absolutely loved it. And these stars have something to do with it also, which I didn't realise until the end. This was also in the Zoella book club. 2017 or whichever year that I bought and I'm glad it was in there because I never would have read, read it otherwise. Vivian Carter is fed up, fed up with sexist dress codes, fed up with gross comments from guys during class, fed up with her high school teachers who let it happen but most of all Viv is fed up with always following the rules. Viv's mum was a punk rock riot girl inspiring Viv to create Moxie, a feminist zine that she distributes anonymously to her classmates. She's just blown off steam, but other girls respond and begin to spread the Moxie message. Moxie girls fight back. And before Viv knows it, she's started a girl revolution. Now, honestly, I was a bit like, oh, but this book was so good. And I really loved Viv as a character. Initially, I didn't really get her that much, but as it went on and the story progressed, I really loved it. I also loved, how sort of the magazine aspect as well how that was like distributed in school and then the reaction people got and it shows that even if you want to make a difference for example and you think of something and you think oh no one's ever going to want to do that or no one's going to like that if you do it people will respond and react and usually they react positively because they want to see you succeed and if you're surrounded by people who don't want you to succeed they're not your friends and i'm sorry to say that but in this book they really supported her and then they all joined together to fight back and the whole moxie sort of thing is insane. I think there might even be a website that you can have a look at but this was a really good book and I recommend anyone to read it. So that's it for my pink YA book haul. I hope you liked it. If you did make sure to give it a thumbs up. The book I'm most excited to read now is Dead Popular by Sue Warman. I think it is going to be amazing and if anyone liked any of the, the books that I showed you today make sure to pop it in the comments and if anyone also wants to take part in this sort of colour scheme book haul thing then make sure to leave your links down below so that I can see your videos. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye!